world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to build the elevator. It was brought to my attention, people have been asking, people are saying, everybody's complaining, how do we build the ele elevator? I can't speak. We don't understand how it works. So I thought I would start all over fresh. So this is my test world and I have made some adjustments to it. I've gone ahead and extended my tower up. I've enclosed it in some glass to make it look a little bit better. And I'm all set up. I have all the parts, the elevator track, the elevator itself, and several buttons. The first thing I want to show you is where the blue sphere stops. All right, because that's important in this discussion. Okay, so you can see there's blue sphere below me, but not up here. Come on, get down. I can't drop in the hole. There we go. So that's where my blue sphere of my BCUs extends to. About almost to level three levels below the top. Okay. Now, how do you make all the parts for the elevator? Let's go inside my base. The first thing you have to craft is the lathe. The lathe takes 2000 power, 250 mass, eight alloy alloyed sheets, six circuit boards and 15 scrap metal. Once you have made it, this is what it looks like and it's actually a pretty cool device. Currently, it only allows you to craft four things, the elevator track, the elevator platform, an elevator switch, and this is now where the BCU cracker. It looks like an elevator engine, but it's not. That's all contained within the elevator platform. So the track is two circuit boards, four metal ingots, 10 scrap, 125 mass, and 1,000 power each. So it takes a while. The elevator platform is four metal ingots, seven alloy sheets, five circuit boards, 25 crystals, 300 mass, and 3,000 power. And then each elevator switch is three alloy sheets, one circuit board, four crystals, 100 mass, and 500 power. Yeah, it throws a lot of sparks when you use it. It's, it's kind of a cool, but it's huge. I mean, it's the biggest tool bench or item you can build. I think it's larger than the actual sofa, but not by much. But yeah, this is the biggest piece of, I don't want to say junk, but hunk of metal. There you go. Biggest hunk of metal you can actually put in the base. And then this is the enclosure that I have created and I've got it set up to do what I want it to do. So here's what we're going to start with. The first thing is you have to put down the track and we get some elevator switches on my heart bar. So you start with the track. The track has to be put in the center of uh, a wall. It can be glass, but it has to be placed on a wall and it has to be centered. Now, as far as I understand it, this thing moves in solid floors. If your base is set up so that it ends on a half floor, it's not going to work. If you do place it and then put a half and then put a floor up here because that's where you, that's where your base stops, it's not going to work. It only works in full floor segments, so full wall segments. And then just like anything else, you just keep placing it like that. Now, we can go ahead and place this. We're inside the sphere of, uh, we're inside that blue sphere. See the thing? So it's telling you this needs electricity to work. So I placed it down. And then when you click your mouse button, this isn't going to work. You have to use your uh, action button or use button. And now you can see I've come up to this point right here because that's where I stopped, but there's no floor here. And you'll see this takes up, you see how it won't work on a half wall, the half because you stop and there's still half above you. So let's go back down and it does stop there. Now, 
One thing I want to show you really quick while we're here on the lower level. Some people have complained that if they place something here, get on their elevator, it passes through and works. But that's the, hit that thunk, that nasty thunk sound. That's the, um, sorry, there's something in the way and it's not going to work. You can't have anything in the way. It can't have a floor, it can't have a planter. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's in the way, uh, the game will not let the elevator come down. Also, it won't squish a person. So if you're trying to squish your buddy, that's not gonna work. Well, now the elevator's up there. I have no way of getting up there and getting it. Well, that's where a call button comes in. If the elevator is uh, to the point where you can't get it, you can use a call button to bring it down. Now, here's the thing about a call button. It has to be on the same wall as the track. Okay, I was just, I've just been completely snookered. Before when I've tested this, I think it's because it's within this area here. I took this switch and I stuck it down on the wall over there and it didn't work. But I guess it's, as long as it's on the, uh, in this area right here, it'll work. Cause this is where it's based at, I guess. Hmm. Because I know if I put one over down here, I did this on video. I placed one right here and it would not operate it. But that's also outside this range. So I think these have a range. They have to be within this square area, within this you know area platform for this to work. Okay, well, hey, I just learned something. All right, so we can go ahead and go up in the elevator and then take our track and just keep going up and keep placing the track. So that's what we're gonna do. Of course, it's gonna start storming and raining and stuff, but that's okay. I've enclosed this, so what Mother Nature does right now doesn't matter. Now, have you noticed something? I purposely showed you where the blue sphere stops, but because the track has power, I can't place the, uh, the elevator without being within a blue sphere, but I can use the elevator without being in the in the 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 range of power. So let's go ahead and test this. This that's within the blue sphere. This one wouldn't be. Ah, but I can't place a call button here. Why? Because there's no blue sphere. All right, so let's go ahead and go down. Now you'll see it's stopping at every level because there's a, a what half floor right here. This is telling the elevator, this is the level and stop here. You see that one, it didn't stop at because there's no half floor. I've got it stuck over there. Now I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Now, when you're going up, I can't stop it to go back down. Once you've started going up, you're stuck going up. All right, so let's go ahead and drop down. And if I place this here, now when I get up on my elevator, one, one, one too high, and I go down, it'll stop at this floor because now it sees this as a level it should stop at. All right, so let's go all the way down to the bottom. I need to get a couple BCUs there's also been a lot of talk about the BCU extenders and BCUs. Let's grab that. The BCUs themselves can no longer be placed within the blue sphere of another BCU. Stop here. Stop here. Ladies lingerie and sporting goods. Now, if I want to be able to place a blue a, a call button, I have to put either a range extender below me or a BCU up here that'll correspond with the BCU down floor. So the blue spheres of this are actually touching. Let's go down. Let's step out here. And let's see, there we go. 
So that VCU I just placed up there creates this nice bubble and it is intersecting pretty well with the one below it. You can see it right there and intersects. So those are all linked. Now, if I wanted to, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, this is a test world. So it's a little, the, uh, the game thinks, oh, it's the first time you placed a, first time that you've placed a, uh, uh, a BCU, we're gonna tell, you know, you got hunters coming in. I've already got hunters. All right, so final test. This shouldn't work. I'm gonna back off. Okay, now I'm confused. Why is it working over here? Huh, it was so weird that it didn't work at, at the other location and it made sense. Oh. I get it now. Anywhere that it's being placed, it should be able to work. See, it won't let me place it here. I'm within the blue sphere, but it's not letting me place it because it wouldn't work over here. So at what point does it start working? Ah, right there. So it is arranged. It's not like it has to be within a bubble. It's just that's the range that it'll, it'll work at. Hmm, I wonder where else I can stick it. Can I? I can't stick it up there. But I could stick it in there. Ooh, I like how it kind of sits within that... It sits within that. That's kind of cool. I could use that for placement. It kind of looks kind of nice that way. All right, so I can stick it there. And this one would work, obviously. But it's already here. I want to verify that it works up here. Okay, guys, that's the elevator. I've already showed you what makes it work and what makes it not work. But this is how you can get a working elevator. Now, I don't need all these glass walls. That was just a design, you know, to make it look a little nicer. But that is the elevator in one fell swoop. From crafting it, which I did off screen, but that took all day to get all the power and stuff and mass to get all this. But an eight story elevator and all the call buttons to make it work. Can I reach? Oh, I can. Okay. It's a little iffy. But there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and move this one so it's a little bit more convenient to reach. All right, guys and gals, I've been Critical. This has been a tutorial on how to build an elevator. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.